right here, I have my garments. And it's taken me like three days to organize them, you know, get them off the hangers, get the garment bags off of them, and organize them by size in their bins, you know, with the flares, count the inventory. And it's been exhausting. I am so tired. We are doing so much. Well, me. I am doing so much. When I say we, this entire time, it's mostly just been me. I've had my consultants. I've had my people that give me advice. I have my manufacturer. I have my pattern person. I have my family members that go into the city with me, but this business is literally just me. But either way, we have our four sizes. This is our size 18. This is our size 14. That's our 8. And that is our 10. And they're all organized. There's only 25 of each. And honestly, thinking about it now, because I'm scouting for models, and I'm, like, talking to people, really, about the sizing, I feel like we should have made, like, 30, 40, 30, 40, 10 to 20, 10 to 20. And I shouldn't have done 25 of each. But I don't know if I would have had enough fabric to do this amount that I wanted to, and that's why I did just the even 25, because I knew I could get an even 25. That's what the guesstimate of fabric was for. The guesstimate of fabric was not for making 30 to 40 of these. And even if I made five to 10 less of these, that would not have made this amount, because this amount, this size takes up a lot of fabric compared to the rest of them. <laughs> So, it's it's been a journey. I now know how many of the random fabric flares we'll have. The um, second fabric we found, we have about 9 to 10 of each flare. And then the 15, gar 15 yards that I thought was going to make up, the original second fabric, we have about 1 to 2 flares and i'm wondering why because it doesn't quite add up to 15 yards in my brain so i'm gonna have to measure those out and see if it does add up or see if like the waist was just not usable at all and i'll have to talk to my manufacturer about when we talk to the second like about the second garment we'll have to talk about if he has any excess fabric and if he can make any flares and like how many and like the largest size because i'm thinking for the larger sizes, we may provide extra flares. And if the smaller sizes are popular, we'll provide smaller flares as well. And then I'm hoping that we can just keep releasing different kind of white styled flares because we can never get that fabric again unless I find it miraculously. But we can release similar fabrics, similar colors, like complementary flares to just give it a new twist. So I'm hoping that we can do that still and then keep going with the second garment. And even though we, this white garment will not be, you know, made again in the same fabric, maybe we can make it in a different white fabric and make it, you know, that 100 piece. Because the next garment I'm looking to do seven to nine sizes instead of four. And I'm looking to do 100 pieces in each size or, you know, 100 pieces in the most wanted sizes and maybe like 50 to 75 or even 25 in the smaller sizes depending on how popular they are you know i have to account for the fact that the adult people that are shorter stature like myself are probably more limited there's not as many of us out there and there's not as many of us that want to wear this exact outfit so i have to take that into account and i have to take into account that there are women and humans that are five foot to like five six or so that want to wear this outfit and there's going to be more of them than there are the smaller sizes so we're always going to have to take that into account and make less of the smaller sizes unless it's opposite and i find out that the smaller sizes are be more wanted which will be really cool um to know that there's you know other short stature people like me out there, even if it's non-disability. It's just fun to know that, like, I'm not the only one stuck up just above a doorknob. <laughs> um, so that would be really cool for myself. And I think, honestly, no matter what, it's a learning experience, and it's going to help me with how much I'm going to make of the next garment. Because no matter what, I am still going to try to fund making a next garment. Doing my estimates on money, though, on how much these 25 pieces for each size cost me, multiplying that by like seven to nine is something I can't afford currently.
but I'm hoping either I can get investment or I can make that financial somehow. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a large number. It's a larger number than I've ever seen in my life, and hopefully I can get it in my bank account so I can push it out for the fashion line. Because all I want to do is keep it going, even if I'm just breaking even each time. Then it's allowing me to keep progressing. And that, that's all I need, is to be able to keep progressing. And that'll be enough. And I'm hoping that these garments really do sell, and I really do learn from it more than anything. And that it allows me enough to keep going. And that's just all I need. But other than that, let me show you the garments. We're going to show you size 18. And I'm going to show you size 8 on me. So there's only two sizes in between. I'm not going to show those sizes because there's only about an inch and a, to an inch and a half difference on each side, of course. Um, so we're going to just get started with showing you the final garment. I'm so happy. So this is the top and we have the collar here. And the collar is made out of the same fabric. So it's all the same fabric on the front. But it is dull layered, so there is a lining because this fabric can be a little see-through. And then the back. So the change that happened is now that you can see the snaps up, the theory of it snaps, we still have the keyhole back. We still have the elastic here so it stretches. And all of this fabric is four-way stretch and stretches both ways. So it's very adaptable for the body. Now for the pants, we have the no flares on, so you can see the snaps, but you have the waistband made out of the same fabric, so it's the whole same fabric. It is dual layered, again, just like the shirt, and then the back looks exactly the same. You have the snaps down at the bottom, and then it hugs the body, and it also has stretch both ways. So that way it can hug any kind of body, hopefully. Okay, so this is the flare that the pants will come with when purchased. And this flare is made out of the lining specifically and not this fabric. So it is slightly different, but it still is cohesive. And it's a smaller, less exaggerated flare. And it still is a large flare. It's not like a straight, straight flare, but I call it the straight flare because compared to the other flare, this one is a straight flare. So this is actually one of my favorite flares. This is actually from the second garment we made and we decided to make a white flare in it for the white garment. And I actually really liked this flare. This is what I originally had designed and we made the other flare a little more extreme the original time. So. I actually love this flare, and I wish we were able to make it out of both fabrics so you have the choice, but unfortunately we were not. So this is the large flare, and as we can see, it's a little more dramatic than the small flare. It's definitely, you know, more movement, a little more, I feel like, 70s. Um, but this is the original flare for the white outfit. So this is the original size. Um, the other one is a little smaller, but I think it is a nice medium for the outfit. And then they can pick if they want the large flare. And if they want the large flare, they can pick the fabric. This is the one that is the original fabric as the outfit. We do have one other fabric in a larger amount and then another fabric in only one to two pieces. So that's scary because only one person's really going to get it. And that one's a little not as stretchy. This is four-way stretch. The other one is four-way stretch. And the last one that only is available in about two to one is a not much stretch at all. So that is why there's not as many of them. And also we had the least amount of fabric of it. So let's get to the alternative fabrics for this flare. We have about 15 available in this style per um, size, and then nine to 10 in the other one, and then one to two in the last one. So this is the second option fabric wise for the large flare. It is more of a straight line versus a wave. 
but it does still have stretch. It honestly has a little more stretch than the rest of the outfit, or the rest of the flares, not the rest of the outfit, than the rest of the flares. The outfit actually probably has very equal amount of stretch. Maybe this has a little more, but that's probably the grain line. And this is a dull fabric. Um, but either way, it does lay slightly differently because it's thinner than the other fabric option. But it has the same dramatic kind of style. It has the same kind of length. It's got the same kind of opaqueness to it. It's just straight lines at a diagonal instead of a wave-like format that is on the pants but they still are cohesive enough that the outfit looks amazing <laughs> so this is the flare the larger flare in the very very limited edition so the whole outfit is limited edition in this fabric but this flare is the only flare in this size and we only have two in the size 10 and about one in the size 18 and 14 as well. So it's even more rare than the rest of the outfit and the rest of the flares. And honestly, I love it. It has like these waves to it and it's just so beautiful. But it is not the best fabric option for the flare. There is not a lot of give here. And unfortunately, this is a limited edition fabric. There is only 15 yards for it. And this is all I get. So it makes it very sad. But it's okay. It's okay. It's sad, but it's okay. And whoever gets them, gets them. And I hope they enjoy them. This is a close-up of the bottoms without the flares on. Front. and back and then this is the Fitclusion logo in orange and tag placement as well as the tag placement for the care tag and size tag and then here is all four sizes compared to each other smallest to largest Here's the top close up, front and back. And then unsnapped. And then here is the logo tag placement as well as the care and size tag placement. And then here is all four sizes next to each other. This is the straight flare, front and back. And then this is all four sizes compared to each other. There's really only two size differences, honestly. One size has eight snaps while the other has nine. And then here is the larger, more extravagant flare, front and back. And then here is all four sizes next to each other. Again, there's really only two sizes, one being the eight and the 10, and the other being the 14 and 18. Now this is comparing the straight flare to the extravagant flare and the size differences. And then here is the wave extravagant flare and then here is the straight lined extravagant flare. And I also did a close up on the fabric so you could see the texture.
Okay, y'all, so that's the garment. We have 25 pieces in each size, you know, 15 in the original flare, 10 or 9 in the second flare, and then 1 to 2 in the wave, um, kind of woven flare. I honestly, I'm so proud of myself. I know it's only 25 pieces, and I know it's limited edition, and I know everything went wrong, but I'm hoping that this is a learning experience for the next garment and it's actually going to be more beneficial doing this trial run than doing a hundred pieces for each size in the beginning because it's going to teach me which size is necessary and which size we need more of and which size we don't need as much of so i am just very excited i'm very nervous and overall i hope you guys like the outfit if you are looking for the outfit or short stature clothing make sure you go to fitclusion.com make sure you keep up on my social medias to know what outfits we're producing next because i never know what time you may be seeing this video you may be seeing this video when this outfit is in the vault and no longer available unless we find another white fabric or this fabric again but you may also be finding this video in the very beginning and still have a chance to get this outfit. So just no matter what, check out the website, check out the fashion line, and keep up to date if you're looking for short stature clothing. And eventually, one day, it will be all-inclusive and we will have every types of human kind of clothing. And I'm just, I'm so excited to watch it bloom. And I'm hoping that it is successful. Thank you guys for tuning into the fashion line. Um videos when we start producing the second outfit i will do more videos and keep you guys updated on everything that is going on with the fashion line and fitclusion i want to thank you for watching the entire journey and if you didn't see the entire journey the entire journey is on here so make sure you watch those videos other than that stay positive stay beautiful have an amazing day bye <laughs>